Now, most birthdays are obviously a cause for celebration, but when the governor of Michigan posted a photo of a specialty cake designed for his wife's birthday, there was a public outcry. Now, that is the cake, okay? The outcry is because there's been a water crisis in Flint, Michigan, since the city switched water supplies in 2014, leading the mayor to declare a state of emergency in December of last year. So while the citizens of Flint don't have access to safe, clean water, the photo of this high-end birthday cake featuring luxury brands was taken by some to be seen as insensitive, as if the, the, the uh, governor is truly tone deaf to the right. needs of the people of Flint. What think, do you think? I don't think anybody wants to see this right now with what's going on in Flint. I mean, they, they want to see a Marc Jacobs cake bag. I mean, you know, the, the, the state of Michigan is really pissing me off lately. But this yeah. is why they're in the situation that they're in, because you have somebody who is so insensitive and it doesn't think about their people that they would be so bold as to put something up like this. And if I was in Flint, I would take that cake and I would shove it in their face and a whole yeah, bunch yeah. of other girls. <laughs> <laughs> Marie Antoinette, like, let yeah, them in let cake. Them They're so out of touch mm -hmm. of what's going on. The fact that they would have a cake, have a party when, the, you know, their, your constituents are can't even drink water, can't even bathe in water. Right. And FEMA and the National Guard are in Flint. Well, kids are dying. Kids are allowed to have a birthday well, party. She can have a birthday, but, but do you need that kind of a cake? cake is, no, I agree. It's so insensitive right now to brag about how much money, money you have yeah. to have these items. It's right. just You know what she should do? She should have gone down to Flint on her birthday and brought in water and done something to those yeah. constituents down there. That's an act of a first lady of a state. Right, but you have people during that time who had access to get good water, even though they knew other people didn't have access to good water. Yeah. So they're just irresponsible and they're cruel people. And you know what? They People need to remember that when you go to the polls. Don't let these people stay in office. Get yeah, rid of get them. Rid of they're them. trash. My husband um, uh, has relatives that, that live in Flint, and they knew two years ago that something up, was up with this water, and they, they were drinking bottled water for the past two years. So they kind of saved themselves. And I'm sure there are some people out there that did do that. Right. But this th this is a horrible thing. Except situation. the city employees. I think they put in coolers for them so that they wouldn't oh. have to drink the water. So, yeah. So oh, they, and they knew enough that. to protect who they wanted to protect. Yeah, so, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. They knew. They well, knew. And, then, and, they, and they just passed a law against sodomy. Oh, I know. Yeah. Spend How about worry that. about <laughs> the water instead of what people are doing in behind closed doors I in their know. bedroom? Here, here. Jeez. All right, a British mother is facing criticism of her own for purchasing for her 15-year-old daughter a waist trainer. You know those, uh, it's a beauty device. It's almost like a corset. It's, it's a corset. designed. Yeah, it's made popular by Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. They've, that, there's Khloe wearing one. And the mother says her daughter, who's a big fan of Kylie, follows her religiously, is now 16. She wears it every day under her school uniform because it makes her look better in her blazer. Uh, yeah, but it, it depends on how. T I mean, in in the 1800s, women wore corsets all the time, and it was bad for them. It right, must have been right. We, we've learned that it's bad for you. We've done studies on these corsets. Um, you know, every an occasional wearing it to work out fine, but if you're doing it daily, and this mother needs to know this, a 15 year old cannot be wearing this. What it does to your innards, okay, yeah. uh, is is bad and. It also causes lung uh, diseases, too, because you can't take a deep enough breath if you're wearing well, this daily. The mother says she knows the risks, but if she did, if she said no to her daughter, her daughter would get it anyway, so she feels I no. See, I, 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 that's I, I, the I, I, problem. I, First of all, I'm going to tell you this as a big girl. Uh, number one, if you want to train your waist, train it at the gym. Yeah, that's number well, one. Well, she does. She goes okay. to the gym religiously. Well, and it's with that, that thing trainer. On. And number two, and I hate to say this because I always look like I'm bashing the Kardashians, but I blame them for this. Oh, absolutely. Because to promote these young girls are looking up to these girls and seeing them tightening their waist, poking their lips out, and not embracing just the beauty that they but, naturally just had. I wonder about oh, the girls God. themselves. Yeah, whatever they're doing, there are lots of girls who are not following the Kardashians, too. I mean, I, I agree with you that they're not the setting a good... that are sent out over the Absolutely. media. Yeah, but that mother should be like... educating her daughter, too, at the but same time, and saying, don't, that's not how well, you define yourself. She better stop wearing it, because, you know, her kidneys are gonna end up in her lungs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just... Yeah. It's just I, I always think of, like, you know, Gone with the Wind, when Mammy is putting on Miss Scarlet's... Did you ever do anything and stupid? She's dying Did you ever it. do anything stupid in the name of beauty? Oh. No. Anything lemons, that was... Lemons on my face to get rid of my freckles. Yeah. Like back in the day, they used to say if you put innocent. Yeah. I know, but, yeah, the, I, but that for me, it was, yeah, yeah, that would be a danger. Your body. Well, no, I, I got only have dreams of putting a white <laughs> mask on yeah. my face like Joan Crawford and terrorizing my children. I only have dreams. <laughs> of that. Mario.
Right. There is never a dull moment in your life, actually. What are you up to? Well, you know, I, I recently did a concert with my husband at Lincoln Center. Uh, we, we sang and, together. And it was the first time. Great it, it really was great wonderful. Reviews. So we're doing it again uh, May 28th at the Bay Street Theater in, 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 the, in the Hamptons in New York. You know oh, what I heard oh. about that? People who saw it said what was great about it is you wanted more. You timed it out perfectly. Because oh. sometimes people don't know when to get off the stage. Well, and then you did. No, but I mean, that's, that's great. very nice to hear. I appreciate people it. People loved it. So they we're want doing more. it again. Uh, we, had a, we had a great time. We're going to do it more and more. And, and then my solo show, my one man show, I'm doing, um, I'm doing July 2nd at the West Hampton Playhouse. So wow, I got two you different are busy. shows. Like, well, that's the, the this best. is the spring the and summer. That's the life of the bar. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the bar, the theater, the theater, the theater, the theater. The theater. The theater. The theater. I got that one in the Hamptons because yeah. I need to get over. I need to see a couple of dudes out there that's single. So uh, <laughs> come on, we'll hook you up. Okay, uh -oh. please.